Okay. This is, um, this day has been a full out sprint. It is trip, trip Eve. Actually, it's not even trip Eve anymore. It's trip day <laughs> and, um, a visible load of motherhood that goes into a trip. And I will say that I've fell victim to like the stressed out mentality today. And I am, I love adventures and I love traveling and I look at it like, yes, it's parenting in a location. And yes, um, most of the time I'm more tired than when I started, but I also love, love seeing things through their eyes and I love traveling with them and I love going on new places and adventures. So we've been talking about, um, going to Vegas with JD for a work trip for a while and then doing, um, an RV trip to see like our family in the mainland, because your perspective is really skewed living here in Hawaii. We're like, Oh yeah, we're in Vegas. We're going to be right there. Like, let's go to Birmingham and then let's go to central Florida and see my family in Virginia and see JD's mom. And it's like, okay, those are thousands of miles apart. <laughs> um, so ask me if we ha even have like just booked the RV today and it's not the standard size. It's large. And, um, today was just reminded me of that book growing up. Alexander is no good, very bad day. Although I choose not to think that I think everything's happening for me and just trying to have like some humor along, along with it. And I have three healthy, beautiful babies that are stoked to go on a trip tomorrow. Um, and a mom who's up at three o'clock in the morning, making it happen. She started the dishwasher cleaning, getting the rest of the stuff, um, packing for a month in carry-ons um, is a lot. And I want to give myself a lot of credibility to that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's trip Eve slash trip day. Um, also doing edits to the Lahaina book and finishing up sleep medicine course and diving into a digital, the digital um, world with um, a real estate investing course for physicians. That's been really, really enlightening. Um, that I got invited into and I'm so, so grateful for out of investment call today with an investment lender for pre-approval for JD and I this morning was really anxious. So didn't sleep last night because Kai Kai went to a new place. We drove two plus hours, um, across to like the other side of Maui to bring him to a new ranch place where he is in a villa. Um, and we literally saw like wild pigs and mongooses as we were leaving. There's also turkeys and it's a beautiful place and he's going to love it there. Um, it's just high anxiety for me, leaving him with somebody else and thinking about him getting walked by someone else and smelling all the things and wanting to get out. And um, yeah, that look is a control. And I know that I could feel it within me just, yeah. So it's his first night away. I love you, Kai Kai. I hope you're having a good night. And just, I have my human babies and I love them. I didn't lose any love for my, for a baby, my first baby. He's an amazing big brother. And, um, he has, as my attention has gotten fractionated away from him more and more, um, he still just shows up, reminds me to put my nose up in the air in the night sky. And we go out and look at the stars together. He stays up late night. He's my chief canine co-author, writing books, editing books, doing all this. And he's usually in the back corner of this room. So his fur is still floating all around our house. Um, and then I did take back 84 library books. I had 84 library books out today. <laughs> Halloween books, just books that I'm reading. Um, Cruz like had some cars books out and comic type of books that he loves. And Camden had Sophie and House that I loved Sophie and House. So did that. And then there was one missing and it was driving me crazy. And we finally found it when I was cleaning tonight. And then we didn't make it to the beach in time for sunset. So we went in the dark and JD went down and I was like in the parking lot, pitch dark, trying to get the RV. And then we went to the pharmacy and they filled my prescription wrong, but luckily the pharmacist was there and I love her. And she was able to change it. I opened the window today, like a huge bug, like splat on the shoulder. And then the rest of it, like green juiced splat on that shoulder. That was funny. And then, um, returned our Halloween costumes today. Cause we're just going to keep it simple and bring our sushi stuff from last year. 
and couldn't find, didn't have cruises and it was closing in 10 minutes. So I sent JD home for like a mad dash. Didn't give him any direction as to where the costume was. He ended up finding it under the bed, whatever problem solved. Amazon kiosk now happening. And then we had to pop over to USPS because he had a package that he needed to return over there. Um, I dropped off one of my books at one of the area hotels in Wailea that's thinking about carrying it. Made some dinner that I need to go clean up. Last night, Camden and crew spent hours digging out, cleaning off, drying the pumpkin seeds. Like, God bless them. They were so focused on this task. And then I ruined it. I put like no salt seasoning from Costco on it. And it wasn't what I did last year. And they didn't like it. I felt so deflated with that. Um, anyway, it's been a messy, magical, colorful day, JD. And I, I, I have definitely been like vulnerable with my sense of overwhelm today. Um, and just trying to like verbalize the invisible load of packing everyone and doing it all so that, um, like tonight they went out to the grocery store and got snacks for the plane and they did a great job, but yeah, like this gets to be my life and it, we get to do this and it's such a privilege and an honor. So I want to be, I want to sit in that energy and just pray for restoration energy um, when we get it for the airport in a couple hours. So getting on. Here it is. We got this moms, the travel agent moms and the packing moms and the, uh, all of that moms. So I just want to give aloha to myself for packing for four and Kai Kai that went off today, but for humans for a month and packing all the homeschool staff. Cause I'm going to homeschool on the road. So I literally have half of a carry on for myself. Cause I packed all their homeschool stuff in the other half. And I somehow did that. I literally am bringing less clothes than I brought ever in my life on a trip for a month. So um, if you see me wearing the same two like overalls and the same three pairs of like workout pants, like I'm not even going to say, no, you didn't because yes, you did. And that's fine. I'm good with it. Proud of myself. Minimalism. Mama minimalism. And um, yeah. Yeah.